Welcome back to Prepping for Tomorrow, where we equip you for the unexpected. Today, we delve into a fascinating journey, tracing the rugged, resourceful lifestyle of the pioneers. Their time-tested survival techniques hold immense value in our quest for self-reliance and sustainability. From their indomitable spirit to their practical skills, there's a world of wisdom we can glean. So buckle up and travel back in time with us. Join us as we journey back in time and learn how to survive like the pioneers. The pioneers were known for their resilience, resourcefulness, and connection with nature. These trailblazers of the past weren't just surviving, they were thriving in the most challenging of environments. Their spirit was one of determination, grit, and an innate ability to adapt. They could read the land, predict the weather, and harness the bounty of nature with a respect and understanding that seems lost in our modern world. This pioneer mindset is not just about survival. It's about a deep-seated connection with the world around us, understanding that nature isn't just a resource to be exploited, but a partner in our survival. It's about the ability to adapt, to think on your feet, to use what's available to you in the most efficient and effective way. It's about resilience in the face of adversity and the will to keep going no matter what. The pioneer spirit is key to survival and self-reliance. Embrace it. Would the pioneers were masters of survival, using their skills to live off the land. They navigated the wilderness, faced harsh conditions, and yet they thrived. How did they do it? They harnessed the power of nature and honed essential survival skills that we can learn from today. Firstly, they knew how to build shelters from scratch using local materials. Imagine creating a home from the trees around you, a sturdy log cabin that keeps you warm and safe. Or consider a sod house, a dwelling made from the very earth beneath your feet. These structures may seem primitive, but they are incredibly effective, providing insulation from extreme weather and protection from wildlife. Today we can adapt these techniques to construct emergency shelters in a survival scenario. Beyond shelter, pioneers were experts at food procurement and preservation. They hunted, fished, and foraged, using every part of the animal and plant to maximize their resources. They preserved their food through smoking, salting, and fermenting, ensuring they had sustenance during the lean winter months. Today, these preservation techniques can be invaluable for maintaining food security, especially when modern conveniences are unavailable. Water is life, and pioneers understood this well. They sourced water from springs, rivers, and wells, and when necessary, they purified it using sand and charcoal filters. This knowledge is crucial for us, too. Knowing how to find and purify water in the wild can mean the difference between life and death in a survival situation. But these skills weren't just about survival, they were about thriving. Pioneers had a deep connection with the natural world and they relied on it for more than just food and shelter. They used plants for medicine, navigated by the stars, and understood the behavior of animals. These skills gave them a profound sense of place and purpose, a connection that many of us have lost in our modern technology-driven world. We can learn so much from the pioneers, from their resourcefulness to their resilience. By honing these skills, we can better prepare for emergencies and cultivate a more self-sufficient lifestyle. Whether it's building a shelter, preserving food or sourcing water, each of these skills can be a lifeline in a survival situation. But there's more to it than just survival. These skills can deepen our connection with the natural world, giving us a greater appreciation for the resources around us. They can also foster a sense of self-reliance and resilience, qualities that can serve us well in any aspect of life. These essential pioneer skills can be our guide in preparing for and dealing with emergencies. By looking to the past, we can find timeless wisdom for the future. So let's take a page from the Pioneer's Playbook and start mastering these skills today. After all, the best way to prepare for tomorrow is to learn from yesterday. Pioneers crafted their tools by hand, tools that were essential for their survival. Truly, the Pioneers were a resourceful bunch. With minimal materials at their disposal, they created a variety of tools that enabled them to conquer the wild frontier. One of the most commonly used tools was the axe. With an axe, pioneers could fell trees for firewood, carve out homesteads, and construct sturdy log cabins. To make an axe, they would craft a handle from a sturdy piece of hardwood, then shape a piece of iron or steel for the blade. The blade was then attached to the handle using a wooden wedge. Knives, too, were indispensable. Used for everything from preparing meals to skinning game, a good knife was a pioneer's best friend. 
Like the axe, the knife was typically made with a wooden handle and a blade forged from steel or iron. Then, there were the plows. These tools were vital in turning the hard, unbroken ground into fertile fields ready for planting. Typically, a plow was made by carving a large piece of wood into the shape of a plowshare. The plowshare was then attached to a long wooden beam, which was hitched to a team of oxen or horses. But it wasn't enough just to make these tools. Pioneers also had to maintain them. Axes and knives needed to be sharpened regularly, and wooden components had to be checked for cracks or other damage. A broken tool could mean the difference between survival and disaster, so proper maintenance was crucial. So, how can we apply these skills today? Well, the basic principles are the same. With a bit of practice, anyone can learn to craft simple tools from readily available materials. And understanding how to maintain these tools can ensure they remain effective for years to come. In the end, the spirit of the pioneer lives on in these timeless skills. With the proper skills, we can create and maintain our own tools, making us more self-sufficient. So let's channel our inner pioneers and embrace the art of tool making and maintenance. Pioneers used local herbs and plants for healing and medicine. Living on the frontier meant being resourceful, and pioneers often had to rely on the world around them to treat illnesses and injuries. They built an impressive knowledge base of natural remedies using local herbs and plants that we can still learn from today. The pioneers knew that a simple plant like willow bark could be used to reduce fever and inflammation, similar to how we use aspirin today. They also recognized the healing properties of plants like comfrey and plantain, which can be applied to wounds to speed up healing and prevent infection. Echinacea was another plant often used by the pioneers. Known for its immune-boosting properties, it was commonly used to treat colds and respiratory infections. Similarly, they used peppermint and ginger to soothe digestive issues. But it wasn't just about knowing which plants to use, it was also about how to use them. Pioneers would often make teas, poultices, or tinctures from these plants, extracting their medicinal properties in ways that could be easily administered. Even in our modern world, this knowledge can be invaluable. Whether you're in a survival situation or simply looking to reduce your reliance on conventional medicine, these natural remedies offer a sustainable and time-tested alternative, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are countless other plants with medicinal properties waiting to be discovered. The natural world offers an abundance of remedies if we know where to look. Pioneers relied on the stars and landmarks to find their way. The wilderness may seem vast and disorienting, but to the pioneers it was a map written in the language of nature. Guided by the stars above and the landmarks around them, pioneers navigated through uncharted territories with remarkable precision. Imagine a starlit night in the great outdoors where the sky is a canvas painted with countless celestial bodies. Pioneers used this celestial map to navigate. They understood the night sky and recognized constellations like the Big Dipper and North Star, which served as reliable compass points. Today, we too can learn to read the night sky. Even without the convenience of a GPS, we can chart our path by understanding the movement of stars. But navigation wasn't only about looking up, it was also about observing what's around. Pioneers were adept at identifying natural landmarks. A uniquely shaped tree, a distinctive rock formation, or a bend in a river. These landmarks were their signposts guiding them through their journeys and helping them avoid getting lost. In our modern expeditions, we can adopt the same practice. By learning to recognize and remember unique features in our surroundings, we can navigate unfamiliar terrain with ease. Just as the pioneers did, we too can become explorers, not just survivors. With these navigation skills, we can confidently explore the wilderness even without GPS. Pioneers wore practical, durable clothing suitable for their rugged lifestyle. Their attire was not about fashion but about survival. They selected fabrics that provided insulation, were waterproof, and breathable. Wool, for instance, was a popular choice. It retains heat even when wet, making it an excellent material for both clothing and blankets. Leather, too, was widely used for its durability and resistance to wear and tear. Let's translate this to the modern prepper's context. When choosing your survival attire, consider the same principles. Opt for materials that provide warmth, water resistance, and breathability. Consider items like a sturdy pair of boots, a durable jacket, and thermal underlayers. Don't forget about functional gear as well, such as gloves, hats, and scarves. Remember, your clothing and gear are your first line of defense against the elements. Choosing the right clothing and gear can greatly enhance our survival capabilities. 
pioneers understood the value of community and cooperation. They knew that survival was not a solitary endeavor, but a shared one. In the vast wilderness they called home, community was more than just a social construct. It was a survival strategy. From barn raisings to shared harvests, pioneers pooled their skills, resources, and sweat to build a life in uncharted territories. Today, the importance of community and cooperation in survival situations is just as critical. Preppers can learn from the pioneers' example and work to build strong networks of mutual support. These networks can be a source of shared knowledge, skills, and resources. They can also provide the psychological support that is crucial in crisis situations. In essence, the pioneer spirit of community and cooperation teaches us a timeless lesson. When it comes to survival, going it alone is not only difficult, but often unnecessary. In survival as in life, we are stronger together. We have much to learn from the pioneers, from their spirit to their skills. Their determination, resourcefulness, and deep connection with nature are timeless lessons for us all. From building shelters and sourcing food to crafting tools and navigating the wilderness, these time-tested techniques can enhance your ability to survive and thrive in challenging conditions. Let's carry their legacy forward. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Join the conversation in the comments. Until next time, stay prepared.